my first Uniwix unboxing. I'm super excited. When they reached out and went to do a collaboration, I was ecstatic. I do not know a lot about Uniwix, but I do know that they have a little bit more budget-friendly options. A lot of their wigs are under $1,000 and they are human hair, so I'm really excited to see what's inside. All right, we have an info card, and then we have a little care booklet, so that's nice. I like the wrapping paper, and we have a wig. We have a wig cap, and we have a hair finishing stick. And I've never seen this before, so this will be fun. And the most important part, we've got the wig. All right, so here is the wig. I wanna show you the inside of the cap. It has tons of free parting space, has our clips, even has lace on the back of the neck, which I'm not used to. I think I'll probably end up cutting that off. She's very long, very, very pretty dimensional blonde. It's a beautiful color. Let's put her on. All right, so here she is, and she is a lot longer than I was expecting. So that's nice. It gives you a little bit more room to work with. I will say she does have like a higher density on top of here and then it kind of tapers towards the end. Let's show you guys this part. And then I wanna show you the hairline. So here's the hairline. Again, I would say that these um, knots are definitely unbleached. I really like the color. It's a warm dimensional blonde. I love warm dimensional blonde. So this is really pretty. I think I would like her a little bit more if I took her upstairs, cut off the lace, and tried to style her. So let's do that. So we are going to cut the lace on this wig. And I'm just going to try to get as much hair back up off my face as possible and throw it into a low pony back here. Then I'm going to grab this elastic. It's actually for melting the lace, but I feel like it does a really good job of keeping this hair off of my, out of my face. So, see if you guys can see that back there. And I think that's pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with scissors. Scissors. Got little pieces I wanna keep out. I leave enough lace in case I need to go back and trim it later. So, go. Make sure you're using really sharp scissors when you cut the lace. Right. It's definitely not perfect. Go in and trim just a little bit more. I like to get a general idea of where the lace is gonna lay on my head. And then I like to go back and just do one more quick trim with it off my head. So I'm gonna do that right now. So here's what that looks like. That lace up close, I'm gonna get as close as possible, but you can kind of see that lace right there. And I am in love with the color of the wig, but I would really like to see what she looks like straight. The curl's pretty, but it's just kind of not for me. So let's straighten her. Okay, so as I was straightening, I really liked after a couple of passes, it gave me this like nice loose beachy wave and I'm in love with it. So I'm keeping that instead of straightening it all the way. I will say the ends are a little thin, so I'll probably trim them, but I think she looks really good. I can show you the back. I went ahead and put her up in a half, like half up, half down kind of hairdo. So I don't know, I love it.